On. Tony, good morning to you. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, is. Hello? Hey, you got What's us? What's going on, Tony? We got you. Hello? Oh, Uh-oh. I think we lost Tony Khan, so we'll try to get him back on as soon as we can. But this is a big weekend for Tony Khan, obviously, Mark, and a big weekend for AEW, both tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah, it's a big night. Um, anytime that you put yourself out there that, you know, not only we're going to put a good product on, but we're going to put on a good product that's going to transcend uh, wrestling and transcend AEW. So that's 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 great, man. I'm, I'm all for it. And I know that it's going to happen. All right, let's bring him. Let's try it again. Let's bring in the star, Tony Time, Mr. Tony Khan. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Hey, good morning, you guys. I think when you were trying to pass me in, you guys hung up on me. I'm back. <laughs> right when you were giving me my intro, I lost you. But it's great to be back on Busted Open, and uh, I'm excited for tonight. It feels like the biggest uh, Friday in wrestling in a while. At least we tried to give it that feel, and I, I think it might have succeeded because a lot of people have been coming up to me the last couple of days really excited for this weekend. Yeah, and you've been able to take advantage of a situation that's a little bit different, right? I mean... Obviously, Dynamite not on on Wednesday, moving to Saturday. But all this buzz and hype about what's going to be taking place tonight and Saturday, like I really think that the fans are excited for what should be a huge weekend for AEW. Thanks, man. Well, you know, I'm a big uh, lemonades out of lemon guy, Dave. Um, Ideally, Dynamite would be on Wednesday, uh, and we'll be back on Wednesday in two weeks. And I can't wait. And we've been on this incredible run of Dynamite lately where – we had been the number one show on all the cable for six straight Wednesdays, and the numbers have just been great lately. And, you know, it's in some ways it's a bad time to leave, but we'll be back in a couple of weeks, and I was trying to figure out ways to make the best of it. And to me, the best way to make the best of the situation was to make this the biggest weekend for wrestling fans on free TV in a long time. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time since uh, we've done anything quite like this. I feel like it's kind of going back to our – DIY roots. Um, you know, before we ever had TV, the buy-in was something we put before all our shows uh, because everything we were doing was pay-per-view or streaming before two years ago. And the buy-in typically is something we use to get people hooked in uh, for a big weekend of wrestling. And this is really the first time we've ever done three hours of TV, you know, one hour tonight at 10 p.m. on TNT. It's going to be huge. And then another two hours live tomorrow also. And, you know, first time we've done three hours of weekend TV, so it felt like similar to a pay-per-view. Let's put on the buy-in and load it up and give the fans a great weekend. And this time, you know, you don't have to plop down your money. We're going to give it to you for free. That's awesome. And you said about being, you know, you're the type of person that makes lemonade out of lemons. You also have a competitive nature about you as well, I'm sure, with the soccer team and, and, and with the NFL. Like, you like that competitive nature. So it, it must feel good to, to kind of have that again. You had it for a while on Wednesdays, but at least for one night tonight on a Friday night. Yeah, it, in some ways it does feel good. Uh, you know, for the fans, we'll try to make the best of it. I generally have always said I wanted the fans to be able to watch all the wrestling they wanted to watch, but tonight that just apparently wasn't going to be a possibility. So we're going to blow it out and make our show the best we can. I'm really excited about it. And for the hardcore fans, there's really something special tonight. And even if you're not a hardcore fan, I think you're really going to enjoy the show. Um, To a lot of the really deep hardcore fans, it's going to speak to their roots tonight, what they see. But even if you're a new wrestling fan, you're going to love it because some of the biggest stars in the sport are going to be competing in AEW tonight. And, uh, you know, there's no bigger star in all of pro wrestling right now than CM Punk. And uh, I'm really excited about his match with Matt Seidel tonight. Tony, I, I, I think you picked a really, really good place uh, to have this show tonight, to be in Miami. The last time we were here, this crowd was rabid. So you feel like there's going to be more of the same? Yeah, I do. I think it's going to be very similar. I I really thank you, Mark. I really loved the crowd here when we came back on the road. And of course, you were here for the Road Rager. Uh, This was the first place AEW returned to touring. And we've been in Jacksonville, done shows there for over a year consecutively. 
through the pandemic, and this is where we went back on the road. And also just these fans in Florida have been so good to AEW. You know, we did, like I said, all the Jacksonville shows through the pandemic and have come down to Miami. We've taped Dark in Orlando and going back there next week uh, for Dynamite. And so I just really wanted to come back to Florida and, and reward all these fans that supported us through the pandemic because without all the Florida wrestling fans, you know, would have been virtual fans would have been the only people cheering on TV. And I thought the crowds added a lot through the pandemic. So I, I always promise the fans down here in the state of Florida, they get great shows and tonight they're going to get a great show. And really so is everybody. Um, and, you know, t- going back to CM Punk and Matt Seidel tonight, uh, I'm just really excited for the match. And I thought uh, Tony Schiavone had a great line. I don't know if you guys have seen the road to rampage yet, um, but it was excellent. And there was a video on CM Punk versus Matt Seidel that actually showed how far back this rivalry goes. We had mm-hmm. footage from IWA mid South, uh, <laughs> which is to the hardcore tape trading fans, of course, like an immortal independent wrestling company from a, t- a past time. Um, but even if you're not a hardcore fan, it's pretty cool to see a very young CM Punk, a very young Matt Seidel in the ring over 15 years ago. They're back on the biggest stage tonight. And Tony Schiavone had this great line in the road, too. He said, you know, it doesn't matter if you're in Chicago or Philadelphia or tonight in Miami. Whenever you wrestle CM Punk, you're the road team. He's always got the home yeah. field advantage wherever he goes with the fans. Wow. And I think tonight we're going to see that again because everywhere we've gone, you know, in recent months since CM Punk came back to wrestling, fans have just been so excited to see him wrestle and just see him see him in general. Is there is there such a thing, Tony, as no home field advantage? Because Matt Sardell is a fan favorite. Everybody, everywhere we go, everywhere I've, I've seen him, even when I wrestled him uh, 10 years ago, like he was, everybody wanted him to win. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of, I mean, he's, he's, Coming in tonight as an underdog in some ways, but in other ways, I think Matt Seidel's the favorite. You know, we looked at the statistics, and CM Punk, he's 3-0 and since he came back in his three matches, and, and he's gotten better and better in each match. But then we've also seen, uh, you know, Matt Seidel's had 30 matches in AEW's at 10 times as much experience here, and just over the last seven years, he's wrestled hundreds of matches while Punk has been out of the wrestling business. So now... Uh, now Punk's back, and he's looking great. But I think Matt Seidel's racked up a great record in AEW. He's 21-9. and nine. He's won 70% of his matches. And this will be a really great test for Punk. But I also agree, for the fans, it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's two guys the crowd really, really likes. Uh, also, Matt Seidel uh, has been taking some advice from Leo Rush. Uh, Leo Rush helped him get this match booked, came to me to get this on the books. And I think uh, it'll be... Interesting to see if Leo's had any influence on Matt and how he wrestles. And, uh, it, again, for the fans tonight, I think, you know, CM Punk, Matt Seidel, people are going to be rabid for that. Also tonight on TNT, talk about huge stars, where we have Chris Jericho, the TNT champion Sammy Guevara, and the undefeated MMA fighter Jake Hager taking on American Top Team, where you've got Junior Dos Santos, the UFC former heavyweight champion, uh, making his wrestling debut. First time Junior Dos Santos has gotten in the ring tonight. It's going to be a big deal. And he's teaming up with a couple of really dangerous guys, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page, who both have that fighting background themselves. And one of the biggest stars in MMA, Jorge Masvidal, is going to be at ringside. I just think it's going to be really, really uh, very interesting. And also we'll get lots of mainstream attention. Uh, the last time Masvidal showed up in AEW, he hit Jericho with that flying knee. And that is the most mainstream press we've ever gotten uh, in combat sports. Even when Mike Tyson was here, in many ways, we got more press with Masvidal hitting the flying D. So uh, that should, you know, put a lot of eyeballs on that situation tonight, too. Tony, you look at tonight, obviously, AEW Rampage live, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time on TNT. And then you have the buy-in show uh, just before. And on the buy-in show, you have uh, Brian Danielson and Suzuki. And then, like I said, Punk and Seidel. How happy are you as a lifelong wrestling fan to be able to, like, have these fantasy matchups, make these things happen like what we're seeing in AEW right now? Well, it's a dream. Um 
it's a it's a different situation being in this kind of competition. I think we have really hardcore fans that love our show, and we've never had anything like this. Like I like I was saying, you know, Friday Night Rampage is one hour, uh, and now with Dynamite being on the weekend, it's three hours of live wrestling on the weekend. And you know, I'm trying to get the fans uh, excited, and I want to make this feel like an event. And even if people are out and about, I, people nowadays you can watch this anywhere you could watch yep. AEW on your phone on the tnt app or youtube tv sling Hulu, and that's how so many people watch tv now so if you're out and about tonight there's a lot of good reasons to throw AEW on your phone even if you're not at home uh or if you're watching on a second screen however you watch it just means a lot and our fans have always been there for us and really we started this from the ground up with nothing and built this from scratch with the support of the wrestling fans. And the wrestling fans have been there for us every time. And there have been time after time where I question myself and I just have to say, sometimes I feel like a wrestling George Bailey because <laughs> time after time the fans show up and really uh, validate everything we're doing. And it makes me so happy. And, and you know, we've done now – well over 100 episodes of Dynamite, and we're going on 10 episodes of Rampage now. And this weekend feels like one of the biggest weekends we've ever had. You know, it's to, to be able to do Dynamite Saturday tomorrow and, and lead it off this weekend with a live Friday Rampage and have so many stars on the card. Plus, there's a lot for Dynamite tomorrow I haven't announced yet because I really am trying to keep tonight uh, in focus on TNT. But there'll be more to come for uh, for the Saturday Dynamite as well. So there's just a lot on tap for the fans. So it's a great weekend to be a wrestling fan, I think. Yeah, and I think, too, Tony, is that you've uh, created a, a really hardcore AEW fan base. You know, it's one thing to get the curious viewer in, which I, I think you've been able to do, the mainstream fan. But I really think, especially over the last few months, you've really built up that hardcore fan base that you know is going to be dedicated and in a in a time like this will move from a Wednesday to a Saturday like they're going to be able to do this weekend. Yeah, they're great fans. I mean, they're the really best fans in the world. I see them and try and tell them that all the time. It's amazing, you know, wherever you go now, um, AEW's gotten so big. So I'm taking photos and, and meeting new fans and asking them their names wherever I go. And it's amazing how much people love AEW. So I hope people can uh, find the buy-in tonight. And then for the people who are watching the buy-in, hopefully we can convert all those people over to watching uh, the live Rampage on TNT tonight. We've never done anything quite like that, but um, I think it could work. And it's a, it's a cool experiment. And I couldn't come up with a more fun uh, <laughs> test case to try it out with than putting Danielson versus Suzuki on the buy-in tonight, free world wall. And I think it's going to be great. Hopefully make some new fans and, and convert those people over to watching Rampage live tonight on TNT and Dynamite live tomorrow on TNT. Brian Danielson said that he wanted to wrestle the strong style, that he wanted to wrestle the New Japan pro wrestlers. Getting Suzuki, is that getting more than you asked for, or do you think that Daniel would be right in his element? Uh, I do think that this is a, a great test for him, and it's a great question because I, I he's I had some tough matches, really, since he came into AEW already, Brian Danielson. When you think about wrestling uh, Kenny Omega and Nick Jackson, and then he was in that eight-man tag with some of the top stars in AEW. Um, so I, I don't think Brian's bitten off more than he can chew. I think this will be a great test for him. Uh, and if he wants to wrestle strong style, if he wants to wrestle strong style, he's got the right guy, which is, yeah. uh, so I think it, that's going to be tremendous. And also Danielson has a huge match on dynamite tomorrow night. So we'll get a little preview because Danielson tonight is wrestling the Suzuki and his opponent tomorrow is Bobby fish. Bobby Fish tonight wrestling Lee Moriarty, who's one of the top young stars. He was a great independent wrestler, and I've signed him to AEW very recently. Uh, and uh, he's, he's been on a developmental deal. He's doing a great job. And he could play spoiler tonight uh, to this Danielson-Fish match. It'll be really interesting to see how Danielson and Fish come out of tonight if they're 
100% for this match tomorrow live on Dynamite. You know, Tony, one of the things that we talk about here on Busted Open is is the crowd and the crowd reaction. Um, it's hard not to compare with the WWE right now. We've gotten a lot of phone calls from fans that say it's more of a controlled atmosphere. Uh, you know, you're, you could stand and cheer when the wrestlers are coming out, but then there's a time when you have to sit down. Um controlling the signs and T-shirts that people wear, and then, all right, when the match is over, you can get back up and cheer. It doesn't seem like there's any rules when it comes to AEW. It is a party atmosphere, an exciting, contagious atmosphere. Is that on purpose? Do you like that atmosphere, and do you think it's it's going to draw in it if, if somebody's watching that crowd on TV? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I grew up watching Friday Night Wrestling like we're going to have tonight. And I grew up on ECW, and it was a party on Friday nights. And it was absolutely wild. And we have more fans coming to our shows. We have bigger stars wrestling for us. And we've hit the heights as far as success and marketability and all these things that ECW was never able to parlay. But absolutely, they laid the ground for us in terms of uh, having this kind of a hard audience, these, these loyal fans that – just love to party, and, and also it's a lot easier to make new fans when they see how fun it is to watch the shows. And I think that's why we have such a young, engaged audience. Absolutely, Dave. So it's a uh, it, it's a huge part of what makes AEW a great uh, great TV product. And Friday night and Saturday night, I think we'll get to see this uh, party crowd here in Miami. Looking forward to it. Don't forget tonight, uh, the buy-in on YouTube, uh, and then straight into 10 p.m. Eastern time, AEW Rampage on TNT. And don't forget, AEW Dynamite tomorrow night, Saturday night, on TNT as well. Tony, it's always a pleasure talking to you. We appreciate it. I know you got a busy day. It's 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 game night, right? It's game day. So uh, game the day. fact that you took time out for us, we really appreciate it, and, and good luck this weekend. Well, I really appreciate you, Dave. Uh you know, speaking of game day, this weekend when I was uh, at the JAG half time, I was doodling uh, on my notebook, and I actually had uh, flipped a page, and I saw that a lot of people had uh, taken notice uh, of some of the notes in my notebook, which is pretty amazing because when you're walking around with, like, small notes, you never think that uh, photographers are going to capture, like, the small writing you've written down. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't anything more personal. But it's funny that, like, People run with assumptions on the Internet these days, and I've seen, I, you know, all these people jump into conclusions that, oh, that must be the full gear card. And it is true. I, I announced this past Barstool that uh, Kenny versus Hangman, you know, is the main event we've all been waiting for for full gear. It's going to be a huge pay-per-view event, and Kenny versus Hangman is absolutely sick. But I had these notes. I was just kind of messing around with different ideas, playing around with stuff. And you could even see them. Like, it's like scratching around, and it's all written in pencil and it's been erased. And I saw people take I think we lost. I think Thomas we lost. people, that won't be. There may be things there that, that you do see, and there but some stuff in the uh, In 2021, you know, the there isn't a lot of privacy and when I'm walking around in the sidelines, lines. I guess I should assume there's not a lot of privacy um, that they were able to zoom in on that. I, I was a little surprised by it, but I'm also not really uh, thrown by it or discouraged by it because it's gotten a lot of buzz. Personally, uh, there may be some differences there. So I just was very amused by that viral story the last few days. And I At least hadn't had a chance to tell you accident. Yeah, I mean, uh, l- listen, don't, uh, unfortunately, in 2021, this is the world we live in. You have no privacy at well, all. Know, we just, I think it's pretty fortunate because it's gotten a ton of buzz, and it's got yeah. people really wondering now, and people should be wondering because, like, I think it, it, it definitely creates a little bit more speculation. And for anybody who's been talking about it now, I, I'm going to leave you with more questions and answers. Well, I, I, you know what? It's when they don't care that it's a problem. But we appreciate it. Tony, thank you so much for the time. Good luck this weekend. Hey, thanks so much. I'm excited about tonight. Mark, I'll see you uh, at Rampage tonight. We're going to have a great night. And, Dave, thanks for having me on the show as always, man. All right. Tony.